Hi everyone, let's begin eViews. eViews, first of all, we would understand why we are using eViews software and what kind of analysis we can perform using eViews software. So let's begin this, first of all, introduction of eViews. eViews are basically, those are from finance background and economics background, these people are using eView software most because they are running their models with the help of eViews. So modern econometrics statistical and forecasting software called eViews provides strong analytical capabilities in a customizable user-friendly environment. And same on the same side, eViews allows you to manage your data fast and effectively perform statistical and econometric research, create forecast or model simulation, and create high quality graphs and tables that can be used in publication or other applications. How many methods we are using to enter data? eViews, this is the latest version is available nowadays in the market. So methods, those to those methods, we can enter data in eViews. Number one is manually, another one is imported from foreign file like Excel or any other files if you have available and you can import directly. And we would understand how we can enter manually and how we can uh, enter or import file as it is. So before starting this, first of all, we would understand what do you mean by time series data? A, a time series is a collection of observations performed over a predetermined period of time. It is frequently applied to the analysis of long-term climatic data as well as economic forecast. So main goal of time series analysis is to predict future observations using a set number of past observations. I have already explained all three kinds of data in my previous video. What do you mean by cross-sectional data? What do you mean by time series data and panel data? I will share that video link also and you can go through that particular video then you would understand difference among all three kinds of data, cross-sectional, time series and panel data. Then is what is unit root test in time series analysis? Why do we need unit root test in time series analysis? So unit root test is used to check for the stationarity in the time series, whether this time series data is stationary or this is non-stationary. Stationary means there is mean, median, all these things are equal, more or less similar but there is not much fluctuation, but non-stationary means a lot there would be fluctuation. So unit root test can be used to determine if trending data should be first differenced or regressed on deterministic functions of time to render the data stationary. So economic and finance theory often suggest the existence of long run equivalent relationships among non-stationary time series variable. So difference between, as I said earlier, stationary time series has statistical properties or moments, for example, mean variance that do not vary in time. So stationarity then is the status of a stationary time series. But contradictory, we could say non-stationary is the status of a time series whose statistical properties are changing through time. That means we cannot say mean and variance are same. These are the examples of stationary and non-stationary time series. You can see on the left hand side, this is the stationary. If we would calculate mean more or less similar. But when we talk about the non-stationary time series, it would be like this. When we come to the stationary time series, you can see this is the one more example and non-stationary would be like this. And non-stationary time series, time-dependent variance. So here is, you can see both is, this is the, you can see here, mean here is during this part and that part. That would be the, this is the variation in the mean. So all these three categories would be existing. Then test of stationarity, how we, have to test this stationarity. 
So stationarity is important because in its absence, a model describing the data will vary in accuracy at different time points and regression results will be spurious. Spurious means that are not meaningful, that are not useful, this data. And this is false true. So this type of tests are also useful if we would like to check co-integration and stationary processes avoid the problem of spurious regression. So it's our responsibility. Those are the non-stationary data, time series data, we would convert into a stationary data, time series data. So but how? Question is, how we can convert. So conversion of non-station time series data into stationary time series data because differencing is the method to reduce the trend. So through application of unit root test, where is the one of the option is available in e-views that is differencing. So on, on with the help of this option, we can convert this stationary data into non-stationary data into stationary data. So that's all in this video and this video would be helpful to you and in the next coming video, I would show you all these words, those I have used, unit root test, we would run with the help of eView software, with the help of the data. Thank you. Keep watching.